Hi everyone, um, welcome to our um, YouTube video. I'm going to show you how to do a couple of quick cards this evening. Um, showing you how to, using some of the free items out um, at the Celebration brochure this year. Um, we're going to be using the um, Grapefruit Grove and Lovely Lipstick foil sheets and the Botanical Butterflies um, DSP paper. Doesn't really should do much justice this one, but rather than we take it out. Um, actually, no, let's show you quickly. And using the Botanical Butterflies DSP, which is this one here. All right, so you've got some lovely colors, black and white patterns. One side, this is the paper we're gonna be using this evening, actually. Um, some really nice patterns there. And then on the other side, you've got some lovely colors. All right, so beautiful. All right, and that one there, that one. And that one. All right, so they're, they're what we're going to be using this evening. So yeah, Botanical Butterflies Designer Series paper and the um, Grapefruit Grove and Lovely Lipstick Foil Sheet. All of these items at the moment you can get free of charge um, with us via our online shop. So I'll put all the, I'll put all the information in the description below um, of how you can get it to our online shop. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, um, for every £45 you spend, you can choose one free item out of the catalogue. So um, if you like those, shop away. Um, I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you a couple of cards this evening and how easy it is to create with those. Um it is a little bit die you're gonna need die cutting as well, and embossing is gonna happen. So you're gonna need a few other materials. Hopefully you've got all of that stuff at home as well. Um, but if not contact us and we're, 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 we're explaining a few things to you. All right, so I'm gonna do the, um, I'm gonna do this one here first, okay? So I'm gonna use my Big Shot. Let's bring this in. Right, this is gonna wobble a little bit to start off with, so we will um, see how we go. That one there. All right, so a little bit of a tip for you. If you're unfamiliar with um, die cutting and embossing, okay, you've got the Big Shot platform here, um, which will come with it. You've got the fin adapter, which goes on top, which is what you would be using for your finlet dies, and also see your die cutting. So you would use it this here, your base plate, your die, and then your, um, your top plate. Because we're using the embossing folder here, we're gonna be using the lace dynamic lace dynamic textured impressions embossing folder um for this one and because it's one of the thicker ones we need to remove this plate here and we're going to be using the dynamic textured impressions we're going to be following these instructions so it's just a base platform it will be the embossing folder and then it will then be the top plate. If we were using one of the regular embossing folders, we would be using the base plates. We would be using it on this platform, the base plates, the sandwich, and then the top plate. But this is a lot thicker than the regular one, so we need to we need to adapt for that one. All right. So I'm gonna take my lovely lipstick foil. I'm gonna place it into my embossing folder, try and get that as even as best as possible. Using that line at the bottom here is also a good um, good indication for getting it straight. Pop it down like so. And then I'm gonna run this through. Sorry about the wobbling. All right. And wait for it. Wow. There we go, look how beautiful that is. All right, so that's with the Grapefruit Grove and I'm gonna do exactly the same with the lovely lipstick. So you can see it's a nice matte finish to this one. Um, the other one's obviously a, a shiny finish. So let's just, I need to just line that up. Hang on a minute. That's the one. And we'll do that. That's that one. And let's have a little look at this one. And there we go. Look at that one there as well. 
all right? So we'll have a closer look at those in a second. And whilst I've got the die cut, actually, I'll come back to that. I'll um, put all of these to one side. So what I'm going to do now is, you can see we've got these two here. All right, absolutely lovely. Just need a little bit of manipulating here just to get them, um, just to flatten them out a little bit. And I've got my two pieces of white cardstock here. All right, so my foil's been cut at nine centimeters by 13 centimeters, and the white cardstock, the Whisper White K, is cut at nine and a half centimeters by 13 and a half centimeters to give me a nice layer. Okay, so I'm going to stick these two down onto the onto the base. Don't need as much glue as that on that first bit. Just move that into the middle a little bit. And we'll line that up like so. And obviously one of the joys of having wet glue is that you can just manipulate it ever so slightly. All right, now because it's a foil, it is a little bit, um, it's gonna need a little bit of time, a few seconds. So I'm just gonna turn it upside down. I'm gonna pop a punch on top of it. And I'm just gonna do exactly the same for this one here. Bit of glue. Stick that down here. Got to remember, I've got to keep make sure I keep keeping it in camera. <laughs> All right, we'll just hold that in in place for a moment, just for that to set up. Just turn that over, and um, and pop that on top of it. All right, whilst they're just sitting, that's setting up. That's what we do. Um, Put it onto one side. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to, if I can find it where I put it, that's the one I'm after. I'm going to stamp the sentiment. All right. So I'm going to be using the lovely lipstick ink and the grapefruit grove ink so it coordinates perfectly with the foil sheets. Okay. I'm going to just ink this up here, and I'll go with one. Just need to clean it, so I'm gonna grab my stamping scrub. Clean that one, and then I'm gonna go with my grapefruit grove. And then we will then put that one down there. Alright. So I've decided to use I'm using thank the thank you sentiment on these ones here. I'm done with those inks at the moment. Clean that one off. Is that focusing up nicely? There we go. So that's that. All right, and now what I'm gonna do, I've put the die somewhere. Bear with me one moment once I find the die. There it is. So I did, I'm using the, um, if I can find it, I'm using the stitched all around stamp set here, and I'm, this, is the, this is the sentiment which I'm using, and I'm using the coordinating dies, the stitched labels frame knit dies, which go with it as well. So you've got um, you've got some really nice dies, some edge dies on here as well, some really nice patterns here for making some really nice layers, really really nice for sentiments and for just nice cutting shapes. Right, but I'm going to be using the coordinating circle one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my big shot back into place. Let's give myself a little bit of room. All right, and now because I am using a die, I would go with that one there. But I've got a magnetic platform, so that's what I'm going to use for this one here because it's just a little bit easier. Um, so let me just make this a little bit smaller. Okay, and die on there. I'm just gonna stand up for a second. Line that in place. Right, 
the wobbling will stop. <laughs> Do that one there. That's good. Okay, so there's that one. Uh, put that one to one side for the moment. I'm done with that for this, this these cards. All right, so you can now see. I've got these two here, and um, if I can find the pokey tool. I can just use it just to, to poke out those little bits. There we go. Clear that off, so that's those two bits there. Now, I'm going to use the some vellum here. I'll put the, I'll put the dive machine on top of it, how silly. Alright, I'm going to need a bit of vellum. Here. I'm going to grab the leaf punch and I need six of these. So you can see that. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, so I'll put those to one side. I'll come back to those in a second. All right, now these should be uh, better. These should be stuck now. Yeah, that's it, much better. It's just a little bit easier to work with. All right, so I'm going to take my card base. This has been cut at 14 and a half centimeters by the A5 size here, and I'm going to cut it and been folded at 10 and a half. And bone folder. So I've got two of those done. That's it. All right, so I will put some glue on the back of this. And we will stick that down to the card base like that. Turn it upside down, pop something on it and do exactly the same with this one. So, stick that on like that. Right, turn it upside down and stick something on it. Right, that's stuck down now. So I'll take my Grapefruit Grove um, ink, ink sentiment. I'm gonna take some dimensionals here. So you've got the stamping dimensionals, these ones. All right, and I'm gonna put a couple of these on the back. So one, two, three. And I'll do the same whilst I've got them out. I'll do it on this as well. One, two, three. Excellent. All right, put that one to one side. I'm going to take three of these leaves which we have um, cut out already. Take the back of backing off of the dimensionals. And I'm going to just stick these to these dimensionals. So I'll stick one there. And where is it? So it'll be on that one. And I'll stick one there. And another one over there. All right. And then we will stick that. In there. Oh, bring that in. All right, I'll do exactly the same here for the grapefruit uh, for the lovely lipstick. Let's clear that one off. Clear that one off. 
and that one. The punch is the, the, the leaves which we've done already. So I'm gonna go with one at the top and two at the bottom. So that's gonna be um, that one. For you. Alright, so there's those two cards right there. Alright, look how lovely though that folder is. It's it's really really good. Obviously the matte one it doesn't look it's still the same texture and impression, but because it's a matte finish, it doesn't look as intense as this one here. This one it looks is a lot more to it, but they're both exactly the same. So you've got two different looks on that. All right, let's come in, come in a little bit closer for you. We just, you see that? It's absolutely lovely. And come in. All right, I would do that one for this one here. Really nice. Okay, so there's those two cards right there for you. Now I'm just gonna do a third one quickly. This is a nice and simple one. All right, so I'm gonna use the botanical butterflies um, paper here. So I'm gonna, and I'm gonna use some of the alcohol blends. All right, so I've got the Daffodil Delight alcohol blend, Mango Melody, and Pumpkin Pie. Okay, you don't need to be careful with the coloring here, not too much. You just need to just, um, just kind of running out that side, so I'm coming with a bullet point. Okay, I'm not being special, any really careful with my colouring. Obviously keeping within the within the outer lines. I'm just gonna do some yellow in here. Okay, so that's that one. And then I will go with the Dark Daffodil Delight, which is this one here. And we will just mix it up a little bit like so. And I'll go back over again with a lighter one just to blend that out in a second. Okay, so just get there. I'm just gonna just go over the over the line, just to kind of just blend it out. Okay, so that's those two colours then. And what I do is I will come in with a mango melody light. So I come in with a dark one, I think, on this one. And that's it. with the light one just to blend those in again that's just that seam just to blend it in just a little bit softens that line down and I'm going to come in with a dark pumpkin pie and go around the edges like that This is lovely paper to colour as well. It's a really, really nice paper. And for it to be a freebie item, it's beautiful. Okay, so then just grab one of the lighter ones. So what have I grabbed here? This is the Light Mango Melody. Okay, so I'm just going to just go over and I'm just going to blend those, blend that line in a little bit. I know, I know expert at colouring, so if I'm doing it different to how you would do it, then um, 
it's it's it's, it's, it's personal preference really. It's what works what works best for you. Um, some people start with light and lighter, darker, and so on. But it's what it's what works. Um, you'll all find your way of colouring. But these blends, the stamping blends, are really really good to colour. We've absolutely loved them. All right, so that's that one here. Um, I will then stick this onto the black layer. So a bit of glue here. Stick that down, let's bring that up for you. Like that, all right. So that's good. And now what I'm gonna do is, where did I put my piece of paper? Um, oh no, it's in the die cut machine still, isn't it? So I just need that bit there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stamp happy birthday um, in black memento, which I've put away. Let me just grab that quickly. There we go. So I need some memento ink. So I'm just going to ink this up. So I've got happy birthday here from the Amazing Life stamp set. And I'm just going to just... See that? There we go. All right. Done. And now I am going to take the rectangle stitch frame that dies here. And I'm going to take the smallest rectangle one let's put my lid on my glue before that dries up all right and let's bring the big shot back into play all right clear off that rubbish from it because you don't want that indenting your um and we will just line that one up like so. You see that? We'll just plate on top. And then run it through. I love these dies, they're great. Okay, so. We're done with the big shot now. So there's your thing. And just poke that one out. And you can see. Can you see there now? Perfect. A really, really nice stitched edge. Okay. So what I'm going to do is that's going to just sit, so I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back of this first, get that one ready. So I put one there and one there. And now, where have I put it? There. Okay, I'm going to take my stamparatus and I'm going to take the stamping platform and I have got the crackle um, background already mounted on it. Now I did a bit of a tip for you here. If you use, obviously got a bit of paper down, if you stamp down on it first, it will then show you where it's going to be lined up. Okay, then I've got my Daffodil Delight cardstock. So again, this is cut at 14 and a half by obviously an A4 um, width scored it at ten and a half in the centre now if I can to make sure I now get this without overlapping on past the crease I know it can see the end that's a focus all right there yeah that's it I can see the end is on that line so if I line up my put my edge with it I can if I line up the um the spine of the card with it put my bit down there it won't overlap too much the other side so I'm going to take the coordinating ink here so I've got daffodil delight ink all right 
and I'm going to stamp up my background here. All right, and that's done. Over we come. Stamp that down. And we've now got a crackle background. All right, and it hasn't gone too far over. You can probably see now I've lined it up now with that crease so it hasn't gone over so it looks like it's just meant to be on one side rather than being on two sides. So that's a little tip for you for when lining that up. If, you want to sh if you're not sure, stamp it down on some paper first and then use that as a guide for doing for lining that up. All right, so stamping platform, really, really good toolkit. And obviously if you, would, if you haven't got one of those and you want to buy one, you can get one from our online shop. Um, and it's just over 45 pounds. So you'll then earn something free of charge. <coughs> well, excuse me. So what I've done now, um, now that I've done that, let's fold and burnish this here. All right, coming to an end now. Um, I'm gonna then pop some Tombow glue on the back of this black bit here. Oh, I nearly put the paper, nearly put it down then. And line that and centralise that in that card. Like so. Beautiful. All right, and that background just, just adds a little something, a little extra to it. All right, and then if we take our sentiment, because it's on dimensionals, take off the backing. And I'm going to stick that over this side here, like so. All right, and then just to finish it off, I've got some of the Gingham Gala adhesive back sequins here. Comes in a variety of colours. Um, so you've got your Highland Heavy, you've got your um, Lemon Lime Twist, you've got your Daffodil Delight. Um, I think it's meant to be a balmy blue. Um, that one doesn't belong in that set. And then you've got your Grapefruit Grove. Now the yellow one is too pale, I think, for this card. It, it loses itself a little bit too much. If it was on the black, maybe it might be different. So what I'm decided to do is I'm gonna go with the Grapefruit Grove sequins. Now these are adhesive backed, so they work quite nicely. You just wanna peel it off. And we'll go with one down here. And probably one there. Let's get that. I've lost the focus a little bit. There we go. And let's go with, I reckon, one. One up there. Okay. And that size. Let's just bring that in for you to have a little look. There you go, and that's that card. You can see those sequins have got a little bit of a shine to it as well, so you've got some other colors poking through. Um, nice and simple, really. Let the, We've just basically let the DSP, the Designer Series papers, just speak for itself on this one here. And that's what we've done. Um, so, there's, so there's three really simple cards for you. Um, where did I put the other two? <laughs> I put them down somewhere and I can't remember where I put them. Um, where did I put them? I've gone, I've gone crazy. I've lost them. Oh, there they are. That's it. All right, so there's the two cards right here. So there's, the, there's what we've done this evening for you. Look, it took me half an hour to do those three cards. Really, really simple. All right, I did a little bit of the cutting, pre-cutting beforehand, but it's, it's really simple to do. Um, it won't take you long, just a few items and a few supplies and you can have a, you, you can make yourself some decent happy birthday cards or thank you cards or whatever sentiment you want you can put on these and I think it's, you've just let the embossing folders or the papers speak for themselves. Alright, so if you like anything which we've seen here, all the comments and links to our online shop you can find below in the um, in the description. Um, if you want to head over to our blog as well, we'll link that in the link that down at the bottom as well. 
um, you can go over there, subscribe to our newsletter as well, and then you'll get some updates when we we post a couple of times a week. Um, and you can you, you can get some inspiration direct to your inbox as well, um, or just have a head over to our blog and just have a little look at what we do. Um, we got some we got some interesting stuff on there, and we which we hope you like. All right, so there's our cards for this evening. Um, thank you very much for joining me, and I will be back again next Sunday with another video for you. Thanks for watching. Speak to you soon. Bye.